Okay, everyone, friends do not let friends stretch alone. This is a great partner stretch that almost anybody can do. So John's gonna stretch the top of Max's shoulders. And if you can't get into that position that John's in, you can get into a lunge that might be a little bit easier on you. That's right, and you've got great leverage. So Max has got his hands in a beach pose behind his head. John's gonna take his hands and put them on, cupped around Max's elbow joints, right on the joints. And Max is gonna gently resist by pressing his arms down into the ground while John overcomes that force and brings his elbows together. And John's determining how much resistance Max gives. If Max is resisting too much, he'll just tell him to back off a little. They're gonna relax, go back to the start position. We're gonna do about six of these. So Max is resisting and tensing while John overcomes that force and brings his elbows together. And we're getting a stretch in the top of the shoulders and into the neck resist and bring the elbows together and then we relax when we go back to the start position we are not resisting going back to the start position again re-engage and bring the elbows together we're just going to do one more of these back to the start position and resist while john brings his elbows together and you can see we're not trying to bring the elbows all the way together just as long as max is resisting now we're gonna start on the inside. This is a great stretch for the pecs, the chest, and the biceps. So Max starts squeezing his elbows together and John moves his hands to the inside of his elbow joint and opens his arms up for a stretch in the chest. Again, relax, go back to the start position. Max is resisting and contracting while John opens him up for a stretch in the chest. And you can see he's not bringing his elbows all the way down to the ground. He's only opening up his chest as much as Max can resist. As soon as the resistance wanes, the stretch is over. Just gonna do two more of these. Max brings his elbows together, he gently resists, contracts his chest, while John opens him up for the stretch. And then one more of these. Relax back to the start position, resist, tense, and lengthen for the stretch. Now we're gonna do another six reps back on the outside. It should get a little bit better now that we've stretched out the chest. So we start with Max's legs, arms all the way down at the ground. He resists and tenses while John overcomes that force and brings his elbows together. Once again, notice that John's not trying to force his elbows to touch. He's just stretching him so long as Max can continue to resist. Three more of these, resisting and tense, tensing while we bring the elbows together for the stretch. Two more. Really good job. And the last one, you can see his elbows are starting to come together a little bit closer because the stretch is working. Great, so there's your partner routine. You could do as many as three sets on each muscle group back and forth and switch and spend 30 minutes. Or you could just do a few reps and do start with the back, then go to the chest and then go back to the back and it'll just take you five minutes. Now we're gonna show you a quick partner mash for the chest and the neck and the shoulders. We're gonna start on the chest. So John's gonna move the towel out of the way and he's gonna use a walker, but at home, feel free to use a chair. You can just sit in a chair to do this stretch. We love to use walkers because they're just a great tool and we have them in the studio. So John's gonna sit on the walker. You'll be sitting on a chair and he's gonna put the balls of his feet on Max's chest and gently massage out his pec tissue. He's not pressing too hard. He's using his weight and he's just feeling for the areas that have tenseness and tightness. And see, so he can go back and forth, he can make circular movements, he can go side to side, and he can pick his feet up and down and move them to different areas of the pet to stretch out that tissue, mash out that tissue. The great thing about mashing is your feet have so many more nerve endings compared to your hands, so you can feel a lot more than you're imagining. Plus, it's really easy on the masher's body. John doesn't have to use a lot of effort in his shoulders and his hands. He just uses his feet and his weight, and he can create a nice 
massage experience for Max. So once you've mashed out the chest for a couple minutes, and you can, like I said, spend 30 minutes if you wanted to, you're gonna flip over and do the top of the shoulders. So you might need to remove one of the towels and create a towel for Max's face. He's gonna put his chest on the slightly raised towel and then lean his head over so that his, he doesn't have tension in the back of his neck. And then he's gonna put his arms wherever they feel comfortable. That might be slightly different for everyone. And then John's gonna sit on the walker. You'll be sitting on a chair probably at home. And again, gently use the balls of his feet, the middle of his feet to, to soften that tissue in the top of the neck and shoulders. He might be able to apply a little bit more pressure back here because the tissue's a bit tougher and a little less sensitive than the chest but it's gonna be different for every person. So make sure you talk to the person you're mashing. Ask them if it feels good, have them communicate. It shouldn't hurt. Definitely should not hurt. And see, so you can use his whole foot, he can go back and forth. You really just have to feel it. And like I said, your feet are extremely sensitive, so you'll be able to feel more than you're imagining. This one, it's gonna, you're gonna want your mashing partner to do this for quite a while. It really relieves tension in the top of your neck and shoulders. But don't forget to do the stretching part. That's where you get the big change in the tissue. The mashing, the mashing's kinda like the cherry, but the Sunday is the stretching. That really is the main event. So there you have it, a great stretch, partner stretch for your chest, your deltoids, your neck, and then a great partner mash for the chest and the top of the shoulders. Really easy to do. Almost anyone can do both. Thanks for watching.